DPR Ian Limbo, the official music video. Now I've got a lot of positive comments from you guys from the uh, previous video of DPR Ian, Don't Go Insane. Great video, I loved it. Like, it, it had like a little dark vibe to it, but uh, some of y'all told me in the comments that it is actually what I thought it was. Like, he was talking to himself, he had like, uh, like a split personality thing going on. Like, um, uh, some of y'all told me as well that, uh, he, he does have issues like uh, mental health issues with certain things and that's kind of why he made this that that video because uh, apparently he directed uh, <clears throat> directed that video as well so yeah uh, it was some good positive uh, comments coming from you guys and some of y'all have recommend well yeah quite a few of y'all have uh, recommended me some songs to listen to by TPR Ian uh, Limbo was the one that stood out the most because uh, quite a few of you guys actually mentioned like check out Limbo there are some other songs I will be reacting to so um, you will be seeing that that soon as well so uh, yeah we're here with DPR Ian Limbo that being said let's get into this Also, should, should I leave the subtitles on for y'all? Uh, if y'all wanna, yeah, I'm gonna leave the subtitles on because, like, some people, it's it's hard to read. I mean, well, not read, but hard to understand what do we be saying. And then for some, like, us who speak English, most of us who speak English can understand what do we saying. So yeah, let's continue. This is the second time he's mentioned to being thrown to the walls now, like, you can tell dude's in a dark place. Like, he's, he's, he says, don't waste your tears on somebody you can't save. In my opinion, I think any, anybody can be saved. Sometimes, like, if you don't think they can't be saved, I still, I still waste a tear. But, at the same time, I see what, where dude's coming from. And it's like the second time he's mentioned being thrown to the walls now. Like in that other video, Don't Go Insane, he said he mentioned being thrown to the walls as well. And like he said, um, what did he say? Okay, I can't remember what he said, but I remember he said <laughs> something about being thrown to the walls and not to come for him, something like that. Let's continue. <laughs> pieces do say that he shattered inside basically and then he said he's left he's left his house down in the basement so he's like at, he see he feels like he's at the bottom of the bottoms right now but I gotta say I love dude's vocals still like he's he's, he's the way he expresses himself within the song sometimes that's the best way you can express yourself like the feelings that you're feeling like you can express yourself through your music or you can express yourself through poetry or uh, I don't know acting because it depends like if you're directing the thing yourself you probably uh, let people portray what you're feeling within the within the movie or the television show but um yeah music is the best form I know of expressing how you feel I, I write music too sometimes and um, depending if I feel angry or if I feel like emotional you you, you won't find a really happy song <laughs> when I do when I do release music so it's like just the best it's the best way of expressing yourself because if you express yourself through like music and such and other people listen and relate that's another way of saving yourself in a way as well because it kind of shows that people do care at the same time and they 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 give you good advice so yeah but let's continue 
left my heart down in the basement Where all the ravens take their turns Picking up what's left on I took you out of my existence Only to crawl back into your arms Knowing how much it will take away Dude's choreography is always on point as well. I, and this is what I like about DPRE, and I'm, I, I might actually become a little fan of DPR because I like his, his, his music. Um, he's got a unique way of thinking, like when it comes to like his music videos and such. Um, seems like he's talking back, he's talking with his dark side again because he's got the, the black on, he's got all black on again. Last time it was about dark versus bright. Although I do feel like there was a crazy side in there as well, because we had the purple, which kind of had like a Joker representation of like uh, "Don't Go Insane." That that was the insane part, the purple side, and then you got the light and the bright, the dark and the bright, which was the black and white that he was wearing within that video as well. Here we just got like just pure black right now. So he's kind of talking about his dark side, but he's also at the same time saying like he's crawling back into his arms, like he didn't want to. He was trying to resist it or something. And then he crawled back into that. I feel like he's still talking to himself. Dude's in limbo. So yeah, I can I can kind of see where he, where he's coming from. I like I like I like dude's music because dude is expressing he's literally expressing himself through dance and through like his 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 words that he's like talking about. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Do you think we are really dreaming? Can someone tell me where I am? I took you out of my running out of sand like what's 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 the um the old soap opera called days of our lives they they talk about the sands of time like once you run out of sand it's basically the end of your lifespan but basically the end of like time and such like i see what he means but i see what he's saying like he's running out of sand but he said something before that he said uh do you feel like you're dreaming because sometimes the world does feel like a dream. It feels like you're stuck in a dream and you you haven't awoken yet. Kind of like the Matrix. Like you're you're you think what you're experiencing is real, but only in death or something. And that's when you wake up or something. Like I think that's what dude's kind of saying in this. But he could be saying something else. Y'all, let me know what y'all y'all uh, interpretation of this this song is. Or is it interpretation the word I'm looking for? But at the same time, yeah. Let's go. Do you think we are really dreaming? Can someone tell me where I am? Running out of sand. I took you out of my existence. Only to crawl back into your arms. Knowing it will make me go insane. There we go. Hold on. No I was always insane except upon occasions when my heart was touched. Yeah, see? Like, yeah, I think I know what he means. Like, his heart was touched by certain things that stood out to him that really made him think about certain things. Like, it's like I said, with, especially when it comes to, like, writing your own music or writing poetry or something. Just finding a way of, like, expressing yourself, even through art. Like, when you put, like, I don't know washing line pe pegs on a, on a doll or something it's like to express your own version of like what you're feeling in, in art and so on if that makes sense and yeah he says he, he was he was always insane except upon occasions when my heart was touched like i think we're all insane in some type of way <laughs> insane is is the normal like sometimes i ask i ask people like when people tell me like yo act normal I asked them what is their definition of normal because everyone ha acts a different type of way like they're I, I don't know what normal is <laughs> basically <laughs> but yeah um, 
him saying that he was always a, insane apart from when certain things touched him. I, I, I kind of understand what he's saying there. It will make me This, this dude got different genres within this sing, this song as well. This is limbo as well, cause like you had, like he started off all slow and such, and like he's talking about his 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 dark side, and he's talking about like things that he's feeling, and then halfway through we had the whole dancing going on, and then we had a bit of like a hip hop vibe to it. Now we got like almost like a, a, a hard step techno -y type of vibe in the last few minutes. Yeah, dude's unique. <laughs> And there we go again. He's got the whole jokery look at it. Wait a minute. Well, that was DPR Ian with Limbo. That, that had an interesting vibe to it. So, the song that he released three months ago, um, Don't Go Insane. At the end, we saw like a little where he was sitting on the bed with the purple suit on of Limbo just now. Does that, does this song link into that song? Is it like a story uh, type song? Like, uh, who can I say? Uh, Falling in Reverse. They, uh, Ronnie Rack, he has a song called Losing My Mind, Losing Control, I think. Um, no, Losing My Life and Losing My Mind, and then there was Drugs. They, they, those, those. Those three songs like linked into one another. It, it, it had like a storytelling type of vibe to it. So I, I'm assuming that Limbo is kind of like a story. It Limbo was kind of like the part one of Don't Go Insane, because he's talking about the wolves and all that in, in this one. And um, hold on, I didn't stop my capture here. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of talking about um, the wolves and such, and he's he's. Um, he feels like he's dreaming and he's running out of time like the sands he, he's running out of sand basically uh, I was him talking to himself in in that black uh, suit that he was wearing and then I should have put two and two together because that same suit that he was wearing in this song is a suit that he's wearing in Don't Go Insane so it's kind of like we're almost watching the story in reverse if, if anything <laughs> no, no pun intended to like fall in reverse but it's kind of like we're watching this story in reverse because this was don't go insane was three three months old when I when I reacted to it whereas this one is only a few days old so yeah he's kind of telling his story backwards if that makes sense like where he's sort of coming from or something like that I would like to check out more of his stuff I definitely check out more of his stuff you guys have recommended some songs in the comments of, on on the last um song that I reacted to DPR Ian so yeah stay tuned for that there will definitely be more DPR Ian songs coming out I do like his style like he's 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 you can tell dudes in a dark place like it's almost like um because like I said people have their own way of expressing themselves within their music and such they like talking to the people through their music like different artists well I think Juice World did the same like um, a lot of like people that I watch as well that do do re like reactions. They they said like Juice World was kind of doing like songs where it was almost like a, a scream for help or something. Like he was uh, talking about his dark side as well. Uh, I don't know. Like people have different like messages within their song and um, yeah, DPR Ian like I. You can tell dudes in a dark place, but at the same time, he's expressing what he's feeling within his song. Like, there's always some truth behind what's being said within the songs. So yeah, uh, dude, dudes, a, dude, dudes, a good artist. Like, I can see why he gets so many views as well. And like, um, 
he's got a very unique voice he's got a great way of like expressing himself and like um yeah like hopefully he comes to the light side again that's all i can say like uh, I'm sure a lot of us have been there as well. Uh, I've been there myself, but like, yeah, you always just gotta come to the light. Like, it let it, not come to the light, but if you have a way of expressing yourself, do it. Like, it's always better to get things out of your chest than to bottle it up, because bottling it up will eat you away. But yeah, that's kind of what I got from this Limbo song here as well. So he's expressing himself through his music. That's what I'm seeing here. And yeah, much respect to uh, DPR Ian for this Limbo song as well, and other and the the Don't Go Insane song because he's he's actually uh, letting us know what he's going through and what he's feeling. So at least that's what I think. That's how I uh, uh, what's is it interpretation? I don't know if that's the word. Yeah, let me know in the comments though. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this reaction. This was DPR Ian with Limbo. Uh, hit that like button, and we are out. Bash, bash.